Hi, this is Wayne Rivers at FBI and we build better contractors. This week I want to talk about onboarding and the three common elements to successful onboarding. So this comes from my peer Arlen who got it from a blog from a gentleman named Jim Baker. And um, Baker starts off with onboarding is inconsistent or even non-existent in most companies. And I think that's generally true in our construction companies. Uh, my son went to work for a really well-regarded construction company, and um, the, the, the selling process, the hiring process was really well scripted, and he was really intrigued and charmed and all that stuff. So, okay, first day of work, nothing. Uh, they're still going through uh, COVID protocols, and, and so the company was, everybody basically was working remote. So he was supposed to go to Charlotte, North Carolina for training, but it got pushed back and there was little communication. There was no organization. There was nothing writing about what to expect and when to expect it, from whom to expect it. The onboarding was really, there was a disconnect between the hiring process, which was wonderful, and the onboarding process, which was non-existent. They finally got onboarded and it, it's been hit or miss and scattershot, but you know, it is what it is. But it really did not reflect the reputation of the company, nor did it reflect the quality of the hiring process. It was really disjointed from the rest of it. So according to Gallup, there are three common elements for successful onboarding. The first thing is people. Uh, and, and it makes sense because anybody, any human being that comes into an organization is going to be surrounded with other people. And what do you want from those people? You want support. You want welcome. You want understanding. You want uh, inclusion. Uh, respect, education, all those things. Um, you know, you just want, who do I go to to get my questions answered? You're going to, if you think about it, at least <laughs> traditionally, maybe not so much now with the hybrid work model, but traditionally you spend more people, spend more time with the people that you work with than you do with your own families. I, you know, forget about the eight hours of sleeping. I'm not counting that. But in waking interaction, you spend more time with your work colleagues than you probably do with your husband, wife, kids, whatever. Uh, and who wants to be around people who are not welcoming and supportive and all those things? Life is too short to put up with that. The second piece of success on boarding is learning. How do I contribute? What is the direction of this company? Where are we going to be in five years? What's our mission? What's our vision? What's our values? How do I get training and learning? Um, what are the norms of this company? What's the dress code? All the basic stuff. Um, Gallup says that if the supervisor, the direct supervisor of a new person takes active participation in the onboarding process, that person is 3.4 times, you know they're scientists because 3.4 times, more likely to view onboarding as a success. So you, you, you don't want to turn it over to an HR person solely or just you know, others on the team, the, the boss needs to be in there. Whoever's supervising people needs to be involved in the onboarding process. And the third thing, uh, the third success element is the process. It needs to be intuitive and easy. It needs to be organized. It needs to be delivered intelligently and not scattershot. Uh, it needs to be structured and linear, and it needs to be tailored to the employee. So that's one of the good reasons for doing uh, psychometric evaluations. If you know a Myers-Briggs type or a DISC type or something like that, then you're better able to tailor your onboarding materials to the individual employees. So we'd like to hear what your lessons are. This is what Gallup says are the three common elements for successful onboarding. What do you do? What's worked for you? Please uh, share with us in the comment section below. And this is Wayne Rivers at FBI, and we build better contractors. Mm -hmm.